So <clears throat> I've been using this leveling system T-Lock for quite some time and they're great for large format tiles and they give you a superior installation. So you can't finish every job in one day. So what that means is when you leave for the day you're going to have to leave the bases in place under the tile so you can continue working the next day. Now because the spacer is incorporated into the base of the system you need to make sure that when you come back the next day that the the base is snugly up against the tile, tight against the tile so you don't get a wider grout line when you start installing your tile. Another thing is sometimes you might forget to install a base so when you come back the thing set is hard you can't get it in or uh, you know it breaks because people have been walking on it which happens a lot on big jobs where you know people have to move in and out so I'm going to show you how I address all these uh, little issues and have the bases tight up against the tile and ready to go for the next day okay so one thing I do to keep the bases in place is I'll put a scrap piece of tile up against the bases and lock them in with a couple of clips. You don't have to do it for all the clips, you just have to do it so that the tile will stay in place. Like for example, you know, in a couple of these I've only got two wedges where there are like two or three clips. And you want to make sure that you remove the thin set from the floor so the tile doesn't actually get stuck to the floor. So once you remove those uh, scrap pieces of tile and you know pull out the wedges, you're ready to go for the next day. Another thing I'll do is I'll, I'll get a straight edge and push it up against the tile and bases and put something heavy against it to keep it in place. So what happens if you forget to put a base in or you can't uh, or it breaks and you need to insert it? Well, I have a solution for that. I use my oscillating tool with a rasp attachment and I make a space for it. Just make sure you don't chip the tile and you get under the tile and you make a little opening and then you can insert your base. Ready to go. Quick. Easy. Now these ones I left these purposely for, um, for this reason is I usually uh, don't forget to put the, the bases in but it can happen or if one breaks or you know you have a problem that you need to replace the base that this is an easy way uh, to make the room to get the the base under there and get it tied up against the tile and so you can keep on going quick and easy so for those people that have asked me how I deal with this here's your answer it's not difficult and just need a little prep or having a little rasp attachment on your oscillating tool can solve your problem.